everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be testing an AI powered design tool called Wizard to find out if it's actually working amazingly, if it doesn't work at all or if it's so good that it's going to take our jobs. Just kidding, this tool is designed to be an assistant and not a job candidate. If you never heard of Wizard, Wizard is a design tool that uses machine learning to analyze user input and generate UI designs that match the user's needs and preferences. It's a promising tool that could save you tons of time, provide inspiration, make your UI design more accessible, and even turn messy wireframes into ready-to-build design prototypes. They also have a new auto-designer feature which allows you to generate design solutions just by tapping out project ideas. The only thing though, it's not available yet, but I have a plan and you can be part of it. I'm currently here on the waiting list, which I know it's not promising, but you can boost my chances of climbing up the list and finally getting access to the tool by signing up through the link in the video description below. To show my gratitude, I'm going to make a video using Auto Designer. Before we deep dive, I got some really exciting news to share with you all. I've just launched my brand new website and I'm thrilled to announce a new training service that's aimed at helping freelance designers get better with Webflow and Figma. If you are interested in learning more about this service, you can book time with me on Superpeer, which is also the sponsor for today's video. So big shout out to Superpeer for uh, sponsoring my channel this year. And now let's get into the video. I've been using this tool for about uh, a week. So this video is not going to be a first impression and neither an in-depth tutorial. I'm actually very far from being an expert. So bear with me, we will embrace it the messiness and uh, work things through together. So let's get started. Right, this is the main dashboard. It displays existing projects and you can also go ahead and create new ones. So from the dashboard, you can also access ready-made templates and you can invite people to collaborate with you. So uh, since we want to move fast, I'm going to start uh, from a, a ready-made uh, template. You can see that not all of them are available for uh, free members, uh, but you got to upgrade uh, to pro. So let's choose this one and start creating. From the left panel, you can uh, customize uh, the appearance uh, of your elements, but you can also add interactions uh, like this one's here. And in addition to that, you can um, uh, scroll through the screens uh, and then um, you can uh, collaborate uh, with nodes uh, and we got some settings uh, as well. From the left panel, uh, you can uh, add new screens uh, you can start from an empty screen or from a wireframe. So let's see how it works. It basically turns sketches and wireframes into designs. Okay, this is the result. I honestly don't know what I was expecting, so I'm okay with it. it just looks a bit weird, but this is the feature. Then you can also use um, screenshots. So let's give this a try. Let's import the screen. And I believe this was a JPEG or a static image and now we are turning it into a dynamic prototype, which is, um, yeah, is slightly better than this one. And then of course you can import screens from Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD. Now let's move on to the second tab, which includes templates. So templates are basically elements that look like components. You have a selection of ready-made templates, which makes it super easy, again, for non-designers um, and just, just being able to design and sketch fast. But as you can see, not all of them are available for um, uh, free. For free. From the next tab, you can add new shapes. And then of course uh, we have text. How can I adjust the order? Move backward. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's not procrastinate today. Now from here, you can pull pictures from Unsplash or of course from your computer. Very easy 
and simple. I believe there are some Figma plugins that do the same, but this is very well integrated in the tool. Then uh, we have some icons as well. And again, I really appreciate that they already provide with a series of icons um, and elements. Uh, and uh, finally, we have forms. But the whole point of this video is to show you how AI has been integrated into Wizard to make the design process even more seamless and efficient. So let's do some magic. From the magic tab, we have Auto Designer, which as I mentioned earlier, is still in beta, but essentially it will allow you to generate screens from design prompts or ideas. Very curious to try this one. Then, uh, we, we tested out this feature before, but now let's try with another example to see if we are more lucky. Uh, okay, <laughs> this, is, this is the result. Not sure what to say about this. <laughs> let's move forward. <laughs> let's try again. I have the feeling this is gonna be more accurate just because the interface is very simple. Okay, not bad at all. Okay, next uh, we have Smart Theme, where you can create a new theme from scratch, you can create it from an image, from a URL, or from a sketch file. Curious to know why they didn't include Figma. But we're gonna start from a theme, so I can pick my colors. Let's do something like this, just to make it different from the current design. And now what it does is it turns um, the UI elements of your designs uh, into the selected theme. I cannot see the purple for some reason. The next one, the wireframe mode, this is probably one of my favorites and I can see myself uh, using it a lot for my past case studies and you're gonna guess why in a second. So basically just by turning uh, this toggle on, we turn all our designs into wireframes. They look so cool and I just wanna do it on all my projects just so that I can have that low fidelity design to present in my case studies. The next AI powered feature is the attention heat map, which as it says, it's used to generate attention heat maps to predict the areas of your design where users will focus their attention the most. It's very promising so let's give this a try i also forgot to mention that you can access all the magic features directly from the interface all you need to do is clicking on the elements and um, now let's go ahead and test the e heat map So we have generated our attention heat map so that we can see the areas where users are more likely to focus their attention on. It's very similar to Hotjar, but this was super easy and quick to do. You can also download the screenshot as well. The next feature we're gonna test out is the text assistant tool which basically allows you to generate alternative text ideas for your headlines, copy, CTAs, and all your text elements. Find perfect plans for your home, which I think it's already good, but let's see if AI can find something better than this. Get ready to plant up your place. Ooh, I love that. Let's try another one. Searching for house plants. Look no farther. That's a good one as well. Last but not least, uh, we have the image assistant uh, tool, which helps you find alternative images for your designs. So let's see if we can find uh, an alternative image. And as you can see, it's super easy to do. You don't have to crop, resize, uh, change colors uh, and all that stuff. And yeah, this was our last uh, features in the magic tab. The last thing I want to show you is the preview, so let's go ahead and see how this user flow looks like. I can see where the clickable elements are. We have some interactions here. And yeah, this is the last thing I wanted to show you. Now, in my opinion, Wizard is a powerful tool for wireframing and prototyping. 
I really appreciate uh, that it has tons of ready-made elements, which makes it perfect for both designers and uh, non-designers as well. And uh, if, for example, let's say you're in the middle of a design sprint and you need to wireframe and prototype in, let's say, 15 minutes, this is probably the tool that you should reach out to. However, if you want to design something more complex or advanced, like um, a design system, you may be better off using another tool like Figma. For me, the only real value of Wizard, and quite honestly, the only reason I decided to make this video is, of course, the magic feature. I think uh, the AI is really well integrated into the tool so that you don't have to download any plugins uh, or extensions. However, because this tool is relatively new, it may not always produce great results. Now I'm curious to see if other design tools like Figma or Sketch will start integrating AI into their products. That will be interesting. I know there are already some really good AI powered Figma plugins available and I actually made a video about it a few weeks ago but personally I don't always find them to be well integrated into Figma and sometimes you gotta pay for them and I don't want to do that okay <laughs> that's all for today thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you found it helpful and if you did please please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more content like this i love to hear your thoughts on wizard and whether or not you're gonna give it a try and also i would love to hear your opinion on designing uh, with ai in general I'm really passionate about this topic at the minute, so please leave everything in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out my other videos on this topic. That's all for today, but I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!